Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning and this is for March 16th through the 22nd. I'm actually fairly caught up because this is just last week and for this week I have a really, really pretty kit from Nikki Plus 3, but before I go into the kit, I wanted to share something really fun and really special with you guys. Um, the first samples of my hand lettering stickers just came in. So a couple of videos ago, um, I had mentioned that I was starting a project and collaborating with one of my subscribers to create stickers out of my handwriting and I did get some really positive feedback from some of you so thank you so much for that um, she just sent me some samples just so I can see how the printing and the paper quality is and I was really excited to receive this I'm definitely going to be pulling these stickers into my spread this week these are the first products that we have so far and they are the workout time sheets um, she does offer or she I think she's going to offer two sizes the smaller one I think is perfect to layer with like an icon on the side and then this larger one would be perfect kind of as a standalone sticker or maybe in like a half box um, so I'm planning to kind of play around with these stickers for this spread so I can kind of see um, how the sizing is and everything but um, I will say this quality is so amazing I don't know what type of paper this is it's almost like a premium matte, but it's not really because it's not like super buttery smooth but I don't know it just feels really nice and as you can see like the print quality is so great so I'm super thrilled about this project so yeah for today I'm just planning to pilot these new sheets and then we're going to create a few more that she'll send me um, and then I'll be able to try those out as well and yeah let me know if you guys have any questions um, so moving on to the kit for this week this is from Nikki plus three um, the first thing that came with my kit is a sheet of these matching icons I love her icons because she does include quite a large variety and here we have the full boxes and quarter boxes at the bottom them. We've got half boxes, some deco, some washi strips, and appointment labels, flags, and tech stickers. This page is foiled, and here we've got some headers, bow checklists, some date dots. We have, I think these are just foiled headers, a bill due sticker, an appointment label, habit tracker, some arrows, quarter boxes, and a weekend banner. And then the last page is the bottom washi, which is two different strips. We've got a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar, some date covers, and then more quarter boxes here at the bottom. I love her formats. I feel like they work really nicely for my planning style. And um, I definitely chose this kit for St. Patrick's Day week. Um, which was on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, all this green I think is gonna be super perfect. And let's go ahead and jump right in. I know this intro was a bit long, um, so I apologize for that, but we will get started with the planning and um, we'll see how it goes. In all my excitement, I totally forgot to share with you guys the name of the shop that will be selling my hand lettering stickers. Um, it's called Planner Just For You, and I will link the shop's Instagram down below so you guys can check that out. Um, if you follow that Instagram, you'll definitely be able to receive some updates and announcements, um, especially as we are getting closer to the shop opening. Um, so make sure you check my description box below for that. And then um, for my spread, I've now put down the bottom washi and the full box at the top corner of my sidebar. I placed down a piece of deco at the top and I layered with it a March script sticker and that is from Heather B. Co. I then put down a habit tracker to track my working out and I decided to use one of my workout time stickers. Um, I used the smaller sized one and I actually cut off the time that was written underneath so that I could just stick it in the habit tracker and I also paired it with a dumbbell sticker that came with the kit. I love how that turned out because I feel like my writing is so much better when I'm not like having to write on my planner. There's just something about the stress of that um, that sometimes it comes out a little wonky. Um, but anyways, for my happy moments, I used this appointment label and a bow checklist. And then on the label, I decided to use a heart sticker that came in the icons sheet as well as a this week gold foiled sticker from Magic Prince Co. For my dinners, I placed down the Monday through Sunday box that came with the kit, and then I placed down a washi strip at the very bottom that kind of matched the rest of the bottom washi, so I feel like it definitely looks a bit more continuous. And then for the header, I used a meal icon that came with the kit. I then go ahead and put down all the date covers for this week, and I pulled in the date dots that came with the kit as well. And once I finished that, I go ahead and move on to Monday. 
On Monday, I first started by placing down a foiled header at the top, and then I used a quarter box with this house icon that came in the kit to mark that this week was the first week of our self-quarantine due to COVID-19. And then I put down a flag sticker with this munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that initially this was supposed to be my spring break week. They actually retracted our spring break like halfway through the week, so I did end up working the latter half, but um, for the first two days, I was technically on break. And then I used a Today header and cut up a three heart checklist, or I'm sorry, a three bow checklist to mark some things that I did that day. Um, I did have to stop by the post office and Sprouts to grab some groceries so that we could officially stay quarantined. And to mark that, I used a mailbox icon from Magic Prince Co. The grocery shopping experience was so stressful because everybody was there trying to get stocked up and they were out of so many essential items like eggs and milk and um, bread. And so, I don't know, it was just really stressful. And I'm sure most of you guys have experienced that as well. I then placed down a full box and then I used a quarter box with the shoe icon from Hazel sticker to mark that I went on a run and then did yoga afterwards. I was really proud of myself. And then at the bottom, I used a laptop sticker from the kit to mark that I FaceTime with one of my best friends and I used my pilot brush lettering pen to write that. On Tuesday, I first started by placing down a Today header. I then used a half box with a deco piece from the kit and this gold foiled St. Patrick's Day sticker from Chic Blossom Prints to mark that Tuesday was St. Patrick's Day. I then decided to lift up the header and place down the half box at the very top just to conserve some space. I had a beer at like 10 a.m. because um, again, it was St. Patrick's Day, but also I was on spring break. So I just kind of wanted to celebrate a little bit, even though we were quarantined at home. And that beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I then used an arrow sticker to mark that I made some fried rice for lunch. And then I placed down some boxes for the rest of the day so I could figure out how much space I had left to mark things that I wanted to include. In the empty space, I pulled in a piece of deco and used this gold foiled film sticker from Randy.Plans to mark that I filmed a plan with me that day. I then pulled in this dumbbell sticker from a shop that's no longer open and I paired it with my workout time sticker from Planner Just For You. And this one is the smaller sized one, which I thought fit perfectly in a quarter box with a little icon next to it. On the half box at the end of the day, I used a um, laptop sticker from Magic Prints Co. to mark that I helped out with one of my teacher friends um, to test out her new like remote learning system through online platforms. Um, so yeah, that is what I did that night. And then on Wednesday, I decided to put down a full box at the very bottom and I used a foiled header on top of that. Moving to the top of Wednesday, I first put down a to-do header and then I used a quarter box with this um, annoyed emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that our spring break was actually canceled. Um, it was moved to a different week and we were expected to work the rest of the week. And then I used an appointment label with this pencil icon from Nikki Plus 3 to mark that I did a lot of report writing that morning as part of work. I then started placing down some boxes again to figure out my spacing. And I also used this tiny bow sticker from Chic Chic Prints and I placed that on top of the beer bottle sticker just to add a little more foil and decoration to that sticker. I then cut down the full box a little bit so I could make some more space in the day. Um, despite being quarantined, I thought I wouldn't have a lot to mark in my planner, but I actually had plenty of things that I could include. So in the empty space, I used a today header and I cut down another bow checklist into three bows so that I can mark some things I did that day. And I also pulled in a bow icon from the kit. I did an online workout through Dance Church and that was my first time trying them out. It was actually really fun. And I used a shoe sticker from Hazel sticker to mark that. On the half box, I marked that I did a video chat with a group of my friends, and yeah, it was just really good to catch up with them and feel like I had some social interactions during this isolation period. I went back on Monday really quickly because I felt like there was a lot of empty space um, underneath where I wrote spring break. So I added the word begins and I put it in quotes because like I said, we kind of got it taken away. And then on Thursday, um, I first started by placing down a full box at the very top. Then I used a quarter box with a laptop sticker. I think that's from Nicole Hutch Designs um, to mark that I worked on more reports on that day. I then used a shoe sticker from, I think that's from K Stickers Co. to mark that I went on another afternoon run on that day. I then put down a strip of washi and used this planner sticker, but I used it more as a book because I marked that I did some reading. And then I placed down a today header with another three bow checklist to mark some more things I did that day. 
I pulled in this nail polish sticker, which is from the shop, um, the sticker party, I believe. Those were gifted to me by a planner friend. And then at the very bottom, I used a foiled header and an appointment label sticker to mark that I did a video chat with another group of my friends that night. And honestly, you guys, these video chats are like the only thing that's keeping me sane at this point. And I'm just so glad that I get to do that. Um, then on Friday, I put down a foiled header at the top. Then I used a gold foiled asterisk sticker from the icons sheet in the kit to mark that Friday. Friday, I spent a lot of time scheduling different meetings with different people at work and then I used a half box with this bow sticker from Nikki plus three it actually came with another kit but I felt like the color matched pretty well and I used that to mark that I FaceTime one of my friends and her babies during my lunch break and it was so good to see both of them I then put down a quarter box with this um, grocery icon from the kit to mark that we took a long walk to the grocery store that day and picked up some other things that we needed um, just because like I said um, on Monday when I went to the store a lot of things were out and we definitely had a lot more luck on Friday we went to a larger store and um, I think some of the panic had died down so we were able to find more things that we needed and then I put down a full box with this TV sticker from happy diet stickers I think it's so cute it's like these two little cats watching TV together and again I used my pilot brush lettering pen to mark that we watched fortune finesters um, stand-up comedy on Netflix I hope I'm saying her name correctly and then underneath that I used a washi strip with a TV icon from Magic Prince code to mark the next show that we watched. I did a YouTube binge at the end of the night, so I marked that with a flag sticker from the kit and this gold foiled YouTube binge sticker from Randy.plans. For the weekend, I cut up a washi strip so I could create some headers at the very top, and then I layered the gold foiled weekend banner that came with the kit right on top of that. I think I had put it down crooked, which really bothered me, but I didn't want to lift up the sticker because I felt like I would definitely crack it or rip it, and so I just had to leave it. For Saturday, I first placed down a quarter box with this bow sticker from the kit to mark that I got to sleep in, and I really didn't like my writing, so you see me white it out and try to fix it. It's still not my favorite, but I just had to deal with it at that point. I then put down a full box and it had a little empty space inside the gold foiled circle. So I pulled in the workout time sticker that I lettered and this is the one in the larger size. It fit perfectly in that space and I really, really, really love how that turned out. I then put down a gold foiled header with a half box to mark that I had a little tanning sesh out in my backyard. It was actually really lovely because I just um, laid out and had a beer while I read my book. So I really enjoyed that. The emoji sticker I pulled in is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then underneath that, I used a quarter box with this wine sticker that also came with the kit to mark that I did a video chat again with a different group of friends. Um, we used the app called House Party, which I highly recommend. I've been really liking that app because they also have some built-in games, which is really fun. And then at the end of the night, my boyfriend and I watched the movie Marriage Story and I used a movie marquee that I found in my leftovers collection. I think it's actually from Paper and Milk. And I just go ahead and letter that with my pilot brush lettering pen. For Sunday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and then moving to the top, I first used a foiled header and a half box. Um, I used the half box to mark that I had a lazy morning on Sunday, which basically just means that I was laying on the couch and scrolling through my phone. And then I used a to-do header with a quarter box and this dumbbell sticker from the kit to mark that I did a yoga stretch because I was pretty sore from my workout the day before. I then put down a washi strip with a three bow checklist and I also pulled in this gold foil today script sticker that's from Chic Blossom Prints and I just got those not too long ago so I was excited to pull that in and I think it looks so good with this kit. I marked that I went to another grocery store. This one is an Asian market so I was able to get all my Asian goodies and also I found a bag of rice which was awesome because we were running out and I also picked up some boba real quick so I used a boba sticker from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, we basically just watched TV, and so I used a TV icon from Brandy's shop to mark the show that I watched. I then go ahead and place down some little foiled bows from Chic Chic Prints just to add some more decoration and gold foil to some of my icon stickers, and that pretty much concludes my week. So now I just go back in to fill out my sidebar. I track all my workouts, which I did really well in this week. Um, since I don't really have anything else to do, I was able to spend some time working out, and I also marked my happy moments and all my dinner. 
Now I'm showing you these stickers that I have left. Um, I actually used up two full pages, which is awesome. And now I'm just doing a Viv Wiggle to show you guys all the foiling in this kit. And I actually recently got a question about um, what a Viv Wiggle was. So for those of you that might not know, the term Viv Wiggle actually came from um, Vivian from Viv Loves to Plan. She was the first one, I think, to do that kind of a wiggle to show foiling. And so um, people just started calling it a Viv Wiggle. And so if you guys hear me saying that, that's what I'm referring to. Now I'm just doing my usual close up look so you guys can see the spread a little bit better and I think there's an airplane flying over me so if you can hear that um, hopefully it's not too distracting but anyways that is it for this week here is my completed spread I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my lettering stickers in action um, in my spread that was definitely something really exciting for me like getting to use my own writing stickers and I know some of you guys had expressed interest in those stickers so I will definitely continue to update you guys um, when we have more information on like the opening and anything like that um, so yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you are all doing well wherever you are and whatever your isolation quarantine situation might be. Please stay safe and know that I am thinking about you guys and sending all my positive thoughts. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.